Thank you all for getting up early on your beautiful Saturday morning. It may, may rain, it may not rain. It's still beautiful outside. Facebook <coughs> had the uh, pleasure of telling me that this morning is the one-year anniversary of me asking to teach this 815 class. <laughs> and Robin has been with me. <laughs> like I, went, I was like, who was the first Robin? And I were here by ourselves last year. So this kind of growth is bonkers, and I'm thrilled, thrilled to share my love of Baptiste yoga with the community here in Seminole Heights. <clears throat> it's addictive. There's something about it that just clicks with me, so I was excited at the opportunity when Jen bought the studio for me to say, okay, I'm going to step up to the plate and start something new. We'll see who turns up, and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> so this week, we are working with law number 10, and the Laws of Personal Transformation. Its title is Be True to Yourself. <clears throat> Look within to discover what you know in your heart to be right, and then act on it. Which is often quite difficult, because it involves being authentic and honest, and sometimes saying words that are hard to say. So... We'll think on that today during today's practice. Let's get started. Child's pose. <clears throat> Let's get right into it. <clears throat> Knees spread wide. Big toes come to touch. Begin to breathe in deeply into your back body. Start your ujjayi breath. Fill the room with the sound of your breath. Breath in and breath out. <clears throat> Fill up. Let it go. And tune in to where your fingers are. Feel each and every single finger on your hands, the toes on your feet. Press all of your toenails down into the earth. Big breath in. And as you exhale, send your hips closer to your heels, even if it's only in your imagination. The action is still there. One more breath in. Empty out. Downward facing dog. <clears throat> Press the top of the mat away from you. Actively press all of your finger pads down into the mat. Stretch your fingers out long on the mat. <clears throat> Lift your right leg high, strong, and straight. <clears throat> Flex your back foot. Press out through your heel. Bend your knee. Stack your hips. Open up and flip your dog. Both feet face 12 o'clock. Press down, reach towards the front of the room with bright, energetic fingers. Press your hips high towards the sky. Downward facing dog. Lift your left leg high, strong, and straight. Toes point straight down towards the mat. Bend your knee, stack your hips, open up. You know where we're going. Flip your dog. Press down, reach towards the front of the room. Press your hips high towards the sky. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Breath in. Empty out. Walk your feet to your hands at the front of the mat. Take rag doll. Bring your feet to hips width distance apart, two fists width, about that, about that far apart. So check your, yeah, 
check your distance. And bring your palms to the outside edges of your outer shins. Press your shins into your hands and press your shins back into your hands back into your shins. So light it up, the isometric, the pushing in, the hugging in. It's okay. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Breath in. Let it go. Come to stand with a long straight spine, hands at heart center. We'll begin with three ohms. Breathe in. Oh. Extended mountain, press down, reach up, get big. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Vinyasa flow, high plank <clears throat> to low plank. Upward facing dog, press the mat away, arm bones back. Breathe all the way in here. Downward facing dog, empty out. Three breaths. Soften the joints, soften the elbows, soften the knees, get into your muscles. So bring your feet a little bit wider. Press the top of the mat away from you. Create space in your spine. Inhale, bend your knees, top of your mat, jump. Halfway lift, breathe in, exhale, forward fold, extended mountain, press down, reach up, rise up, right fingers, exhale, forward fold, half lift, vinyasa flow, high to low, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, three breaths. Bend your knees, jump to where you're looking. Half lift, forward fold, extended mountain, press down, reach up, right fingers, forward fold. Half lift, long spine, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, press the earth away, arm bones back, downward facing dog, hips high. Breath in and empty out. Breathe in. Send something away. One more breath in. Empty out. Inhale, bend your knees, top of the mat, jump. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Big toes come to touch. Squeeze everything into the center line. Hug skin to muscle to bone. Bright energetic fingers, light it up from the inside out. Breath in. Sit two inches deeper when you exhale. Breath in, fold, half lift, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, breathe in, downward facing dog, empty out, right foot warrior one, press down, 
reach up, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, and right back down, hands to the mat, high, then low, upward facing dog, fill up, downward facing dog, empty out, left side, warrior one, press down, reach up, breathe in, ride your breath, arch your fingers across the sky, right back down, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank, up dog or cobra, maybe a three-legged vinyasa, downward facing dog, yogi's choice, inhale, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, top of your mat, jump, halfway lift, forward fold, utkatasana, chair pose, squeeze in, sit deep, Four, three, two, one, forward fold, half lift, long spine, chaturanga dandasana, jump back to a high plank, low plank, up dog, breathe in, down dog, breathe out. Right foot steps forward, warrior one, press down, reach up, breathe in. Stack front knee over front ankle. Give your hips some space. Bring your left foot a little bit wider out here. Yes. Pull back on your right hip to send your left hip forward. Breath in. Empty out. One more inhale. Open up to warrior two. Front knee over front ankle. Toes face 12 o'clock. Bend deep into your front thigh. Flip your front palm, reach up, reverse, breathe in, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, press the mat away, downward facing dog, empty out, left side, warrior one, set it up, press down, squeeze everything in, skin the muscle to bone, light it up. Stack front knee over front ankle. If your knee is past your ankle, take a longer stance. Beautiful breath in this room. One more big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Still stack knee over ankle. Bend deep into that thigh. Track your knee towards your left pinky toe. Feel everything there is to feel in your body right here, right now. Flip your palm, reach up, reverse, breathe in. Hands to the mat, high plank, then low plank. Press the mat away, upward facing dog, fill up. Downward facing dog, side out. Breath in, let it go. One more. Make some noise. Right foot steps forward, crescent lunge. Squeeze in, fingers reach high towards the sky. Shoulders down away from your ears. Yeah, bright fingers. Bottom ribs in. Hands to heart center, revolved crescent. Get long through your spine as you twist to the right. Bring your left elbow to your right knee. Back heel high over your toes. Light it up. Press out through your heel. Open your wings. Breathe in and twist, twist, twist. Warrior two. Squeeze. Open. Flip your palm. Reach up. Reach back. Breathe in. Vinyasa flow, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, all the way in, downward facing dog, let it go, left side crescent lunge, when we get to the left side, the surprise is over, right heel high over your toes, yes, light it up. 
hands to heart center, revolved crescent to the left, get long, launch the top of your head towards Buddha, then twist. Keep sending the top of your head towards the front of the room. Press out through the top of your head. Open your wings. Keep squeezing in skin to muscle to bone. Warrior two. You've got this. Flip your palm. Reverse. Reach up. Reach back. Hands to the mat. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Inhale, bend your knees, top of the mat, jump. Half lift, forward fold, chair pose, squeeze in, sit deep. Hands to heart center, chair twist, same thing. Launch the top of your head, get long, then hook the elbow. Squeeze in. Sit your hips lower than your heart. Open your wings. Try out side crow. Bring your hands right down underneath your shoulders. Charlene's demonstrating. Squeeze everything into the midline of your body. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Your triceps make a, sh a, a shelf, yes. Forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, forward fold. Utkatasana, chair pose, sit deep. Again, you know where we're going. Hands to heart center, prayer twist to the left. Get long through your spine. Open your wings. Give side crow a try. You bring your hands right down to the side. You can squeeze, right? Spread your fingers wide. Make a shelf for your thigh. Even if your feet don't come up, you're still doing the work. Squeeze your feet in towards one another. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Big breath in. Forward fold. One more half lift. High plank. To low plank. Upward facing dog. Breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Inhale, bend your knees, top of your mat, jump. Halfway lift, forward fold. Toe heel your feet, hips width distance apart. Grab a hold of your big toes with your peace fingers. Pull your elbows east and west to bring your chest down towards your thighs. And whatever the story is, whatever the words are that are cropping up, imagine them rolling right off your back here in this forward fold. Release your grip. Take gorilla pose, palms all the way underneath your feet. Give your wrist creases a massage with your toes. Breath in, breath out, and just notice there's a lot of stuff going on here. Release your gorilla grip. Take crow or malasana yogic squat. If you're taking a yogic squat, bring your feet out to the edges of your mat. Or if you're going to try crow, that's cool too. Squeeze everything in. Uh, yep, yeah, knees to the backs of your triceps. Squeeze your feet in towards the center of your mat. Gaze is just a little bit forward. Send your hips up towards the sky. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. High plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Breathe in, fill up. Downward facing dog. Empty out. Big breath in. Make some noise. Again. Step, hop, jump, top of your mat. Half lift, forward fold. Slowly come to stand with a long straight spine. 
and set up for eagle with your right foot pressing into the earth. Left thigh comes up and over. Again, skin to muscle to bone. Set your gaze on something that is not moving and be fierce. Fierce gaze, fierce muscle energy, squeeze. Come back to standing, switch sides. Set your determination, your drishti. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Unwind, switch sides, right foot down, left thigh up and over. Here in this bind, can you even can you find space? Can you pull your arm bones towards the back of the room to bring your shoulder blades together? While all of the resistance, pressing and squeezing, unwind. Eagle, last one, left foot down, right thigh up and over, squeeze. A slight bend to your standing legs. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Come back to standing. Figure four pose. Press down through the sole of your right foot. Bring the outer edge parallel with the edge of your mat. Right, uh, excuse me, left thigh up and over. Make a figure four. With your shin, yeah, just above your knee. Again, squeeze everything in. You can take hands to heart center. Slowly hinge at the hips. Lean towards the Buddha. Get long through your spine. Keep lifting your left hip. Keep flexing your left foot. Bring your fingertips down to the earth. You can grab your ankle. You can just taint your fingers on the earth. Keep squeezing in. This is a giant giant hip stretch. Keep flexing. Slowly bring your hands back to heart center. Come to stand. Left foot down. Switch sides. Right thigh up and over. Flex your foot. Yeah, active feet. Actively pressing into the earth, actively flexing your right foot. Squeeze in, hinge at the hips. Bring your fingertips down to a brick, to the earth with spider fingers. Lift your right hip. Gravity wants to take it down. You have to press away from gravity. Can you lift your right hip one inch higher as you stomp down through your standing leg? Slowly bring your hands back to heart center. Come to stand slow, 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 slow. Both feet on the earth. Single leg raise. Press your right foot into the earth. Bring your left knee into your chest. Hug in. Get tall. Arm bones back. Grab a hold of your big toe with your peace fingers if you're working on the yogi toe lock. Again, when you get the grip, get tall. Slowly kick out through the sole of your left foot. Send the top of your head towards the ceiling. Long spine. Open your leg out to the side. Come back to center. Release your grip. Foot high, fingers high. Reach and kick. Airplane, arms back by your sides, palms facing the earth. Toes point straight towards the ground. Flex your back foot. Yes. Breath in. Breath out. One more big breath in. Hands to heart center, half moon. Right hand down to the earth to a brick. Stack your top hip up and over. A brick on the high setting is excellent right here. 
So bring your bottom toes to face 12 o'clock. I'll be your wall. Stomp down through your standing leg. Left fingers reach towards the sky. Flex your back foot. Light it up. Kick out through your heel. Breath in. Stomp down. Open up a half a centimeter more. Slowly join both feet on the mat. And come to stand. Again, now you know where we're going. Single leg raise, opposite side. Bring your right knee into your chest. Yeah, squeeze. Take the yogi toe lock. Get tall. So just grab a hold of your big toe with your claw fingers. Get tall. Squeeze in. Stomp down. Press your head into my hand. Get tall. Yes. Open your leg out to the side. Slow, 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 slow. Press your head into my hand. Yes. Come back to center. Don't worry, I'll move. Fingers high, leg high, reach. Kick out through the sole of your foot. Airplane, bring your right leg strong, strong, strong back behind you. Palms by your sides, palms facing the earth. Here, one more time. Press your hands into mine. Find the baby back bend here. Bring your shoulder blades together, gaze forward. Yes. Flex your back foot, toes point straight down towards the mat. Hands to heart center, half moon, left fingers down to the earth, to a brick, stack your top hips, stomp, stack, flex your back foot, yes, kick out through your heel, lift your back heel just two inches higher, breathe in, slowly join both feet on the mat, and come to stand, yeah, take a big breath in. Say something nice to yourselves. Let it go. Dancer, right side. Right foot presses down. Right arm reaches high towards the sky. Left hand out. Yes. Stomp down through your standing leg. Bend your left knee. Grab the inside. Yes, inside. So thumb is towards the ceiling. Thumb is towards the ceiling. Open shoulder. Keep going. One more time. Yes. Open shoulder, yes. Everybody's got an open shoulder, thumb up. Kick your foot into your hand, pull back on your foot with your hand. Stomp down, kick. Bring your foot towards the ceiling. And kick and pull and kick and pull. Come back to standing. And switch sides. Left arm high. Right arm out. Kick and pull. Kick and pull. Kick and pull. Come back to standing. Switch sides. Dancer second set. Left side, yeah. You know what's going on. Open, open shoulder. Here, take the other grip. Rotate your arm. Release your grip for just a second. And this big, big, big open. Big open. Yes. Beautiful. Now, kick. Yes. Feel the open. Feel the open stretch of your shoulder. Come back to standing. Did we get both sides twice? Okay. Last one. Right side. Work your edge. Find some place new. There's always something new to find, no matter how many times we do a pose, because each day is different. Each moment is different. Come back to standing. Yeah. Tree pose. Right foot presses into the earth. Left foot, ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Set your gaze. Set your determination. Can you be a fierce tree? Spread your branches when you're ready. Be your fiercest tree. Because your fierce tree is different than anybody else's fierce tree. And today we're all about checking you out. Let you out into this room. Trace a line across the ceiling. 
Find the baby back bend here. Play with your balance. Hands to heart center. Give your left leg a little kick towards the front of the room. Join both feet, tree opposite side. Right foot presses into ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Stomp down, press the top of your head towards the ceiling. Spread your branches when you're ready. Even here, can you find the baby back bend? Can you see the ceiling right up above you? Slowly bring your hands back to heart center. Give your right leg a little kick. Join both feet on the mat. Take a big breath in. Let it go. Make your way to the top of your mat and prepare to move. Extended mountain. Press down. Reach up. Breathe in. Exhale forward. Fold. Half lift. Long spine. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Right foot steps forward, left heel plants, warrior one, press down, reach up, breathe in. Open up to warrior two, breathe out. Bright energetic fingers, send your gaze out over your front middle finger. Stack shoulders over hips. Yeah. Stomp down through your front heel. Flip your front palm. Reach up. Reach back. Reverse. Extended side angle. Forearm to thigh. Fingers to the earth. Keep stacking front knee over front ankle. Get everything out of this pose that there is to get. This is different than the last one last week, tomorrow, yesterday. Take the half bind or full bind for two breaths. Half bind, find your right hip crease with your left thumb. Keep spinning your heart towards the sky. Stack your shoulders. Release your bind. Open your wings. Warrior two. Straighten your front leg, soft joint. Reach your right fingers towards the front of the room. Reach, 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 reach. Triangle, bring your fingertips down to the earth to a brick on the outside or inside of your ankle, front ankle. Keep stacking your shoulders, bright, energetic fingers. Expand from the inside out here. Big breath in. Let it go. One more. Let it go. You've got this. You're strong. You're stronger than your brain lets you believe. Left fingertips bring you up to standing. Pivot both toes to face the beige wall. Side facing wide angle forward fold. Hinge at the hips. Bring the top of your head down to the earth or brick. Take a wide, wide, wide stance. Press out through the pinky toe edges of your feet. Beautiful breath. Walk your fingertips out underneath your shoulders. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, stomp down, come to stand. Pivot your right toes towards the front edge of your mat. Bring your left foot halfway up. Hips like headlights face the Buddha. So wide stance, short stance. Yes. Just so that you can press both heels towards the back of the mat. So take a little bit of a wider stance. Wider this way. This way. Bring this foot here. Toes face. Yes. Yes. 
So we all look like the little Egyptian pyramids guys. Bring this foot back a little bit. Short stance. Yeah. Squeeze your inner thighs in towards one another. Send your fingers high towards the sky. Pin your hips. Pin your hips right where they are. Hinge. Lean forward. Reach. 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 Frame your front foot with your hands or a brick. Put them on the ground. Put them on a brick. Send the top of your head towards the front of the room, your hips towards the back of the room. Get long through your spine. Soft joints. Twisting triangle. Left fingers stay where they are. Right fingers reach for the sky. Spin your heart towards the green wall. Bright fingers, energetic fingers. Breath in. Make some noise. Twist, twist, twist. All the groans, everything's awesome. Breath in, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. It's so good. Upward facing dog, press the mat away. Downward facing dog, let it go. So good. Left foot steps forward, warrior one, press down, reach up, breathe in. Open up, warrior two. Gaze out over that front middle finger. Track knee towards pinky toe. Flip your front palm. Reach up. Reverse. Breathe in. Extended side angle. Forearm to thigh. Fingers to earth. Create that long line of energy. Reach your front yeah, create that long line of energy from your pinky toe to your pinky fingers. Half bind or full bind. Find your, hip, yes, hip crease with your thumb. Keep spinning your heart towards the sky. You're close. Keep stacking that front knee. You're this far apart. Stack your shoulders. Breathe in. Send your gaze towards the ceiling for a hot second. Breath in. Open your wings. Warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Soft joint. Reach your left fingers. Reach triangle. It's right there, right there. Grab it. Right fingers go towards the sky. Soft joints. Slight bend to your front knee. Right fingertips bring you up to standing. Both toes out to ten and two. Take goddess pose, horse pose. Stack knees over ankles, shoulders over hips. <clears throat> Pass the time. Play cat's cradle with your fingers. Whatever you got to do to make goddess pose a thing that's just a thing. It's just a pose. Come back to your breath, your powerful, victorious breath. Lift your right heel two inches, your left heel two inches, and squat deep into the pose. Yeah, feel it. Feel it. It's awesome. It's a love-hate relationship. I get it. Breath in. Empty out. One more fierce breath in. Lower your heels, come to stand. Left toes face the front of your mat. Right foot about halfway up, set up for pyramid on the left side. So wide feet, short stance. Think railroad tracks, not tightrope. Squeeze your inner thighs in towards one another. Squeeze, soft joints. Reach your fingers high towards the sky. Hinge at the hips. Reach towards the front of the room. Reach, 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 reach. Frame your front foot with your hands. With each exhale, send your nose towards your pinky toe. Twisting triangle, right fingers stay where they are, left fingers reach, pull the top of your head, get long through your spine, twist, 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 breathe in, hands to the mat, high plank, 
to low plank. Upward facing dog, breathe in, fill up. Downward facing dog, empty out. Shift your weight forward into a high plank. Drop your knees if you need to. Squeeze your shoulder blades in towards one another. Gaze forward. Low plank. Elbows squeeze in. High plank. Low plank. High plank. Lower down. Three, two, one. Untuck your toes. <clears throat> Bring your arms down by your sides, palms facing the earth. Place an ear, your favorite ear, your non-favorite ear, pick one. Place your ear on the mat. Notice, feel your heartbeat right there underneath you. Set up for locust pose. Squeeze your feet towards one another. And on your next breath in, Lift your hands, your heart, your feet, and rise up. Let your breath go. Squeeze your shins out into my legs. Yes, let your breath go. One more big breath in. Lower all the way down. Breath in. Empty out. Locust pose, second set. Rise up, squeeze your legs out into mine. Yes, let your breath go. Get two inches higher, breathe in. Let your breath go. One more big inhale, lower all the way down. One breath in, one breath out. Floor bow, bend your knees, grab a hold of your feet or your ankles. It's like double dancer on the floor. Kick your feet into your hands. Pull back on your feet with your hands and rise up. Squeeze your knees in towards the center of your mat. Squeeze into me. Squeeze into me. Squeeze. Find me and squeeze me. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Big breath in. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Lower all the way down. <laughs> one breath in. And one breath out. Floor bow, second set. Second set, last set. Does that change it? It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Flex your feet. Kick your feet towards the sky. Keep squeezing in towards the center of your mat. Breath in. Breath out. One more. Last one. Make it a good one. Lower all the way down. <laughs> Take a big breath in. Let something go. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Come down to your knees and set up for camel. <coughs> camel. Camel. Toes tucked or untucked. Squeeze the brick. Don't squeeze the brick. But hug your belly button into your spine. Engage your thighs. Send your heart towards the sky, your hips towards the front of the room. Palms at the small of your back, fingers point down, fingers point up. Push your hips into my hands. Long, steady breath. Keep pressing. Yeah, keep pressing. Slowly come out of camel. Sit back on your heels. Take a breath in. Empty out. And camel second set. Send your hips forward, your heart skyward. Lift from your breastbone. Expand from the inside out. One more big breath in, let it go. Slowly come out of camel, sit back on your heels. A beautiful breath in, sigh it out. Come down to your back, 
It's bridge time. It's bridge time. <clears throat> this is our pose of the month. Pose of the month. So bend your knees. Bring your heels close enough to your hips that you can touch them. Send your fingers straight up towards the sky. Step one. Pull your shoulders straight back into their sockets. Feel the contact between your shoulders and your mat. Bend your elbows. Place your elbows and triceps right next to your ribs. Yes, yeah, squeeze in. Press down through your elbows, your triceps, send your hips high towards the sky. You can stay here. You can clasp your hands at the small of your back. You can lift a leg. Imagine you can put it on the sky. <clears throat> Bring that one down, lift the other leg. Slowly lower all the way down. One breath in. One breath out. Number two, bridge or wheel, yogi's choice. If you're taking bridge, you know where to go. You were just there. If you're taking full wheel, bring your hands on either sides of your ears and press straight down into the mat to rise up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower all the way down. One breath in. One breath out. And then set it up and go. Bridge, wheel. Pick one, press your shins into my hands, press your shins forward, yeah, press your shins into my hands. Six, five, four, three, two, one, lower all the way down. Breath in, send the story away. And quick, before your brain can do anything, set it up and go. The story takes over. And all of the things, like I can't, I, uh, all the stuff, just go. Press down, rise up. You've got it in you. Lift a leg. Lift the other leg. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. One breath in. One breath out. Last one. Does that change it? Does it change it? Does it? It shouldn't. Maybe you want it more because it's the last one. You think, oh, this is my last opportunity for bridge or wheel. This is my Saturday. What's it going to be? Go for it. You get one shot at everything. One shot. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Love this. This is yoga. This is fantastic. Four, three. Two, one, lower all the way down. Take Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together, knees spread wide. One hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Feel your breath, feel your heartbeat, feel all of the energy that you've shifted, created, moved, unstuck, cultivated. Yes, yoga definitely destroys all the ponytails and buns. No matter how hard you plan for the right spot for your hair, it's never the right spot. Never. Take in a full body stretch. Reach your fingers. Point your toes. If you find a foot, make a friend. <laughs> We're all friends here. Take your brick. Everybody's got a brick somewhere. Grab your brick. Bring both feet up towards the sky. Pull your toes back towards your face. Place the brick in between your ankles and squeeze it. 
Squeeze it. Now, lower your legs towards the Buddha. Your fingers reach towards the pond. Legs down, arms reach. Lower legs two inches up off the earth. Open all the way up. Two inches, two inches, two inches. Now bring your legs straight back up. Reach up, grab the brick. Pass the brick. Pass the brick towards the pond. Imagine you're going to hand it to somebody. Feet down, legs back up to feet. Yes, pass the brick. Squeeze the brick, lower your legs. Legs back up, grab the brick, pass the brick. Yeah. Legs, yeah. <laughs> pass the brick, legs up. You got this. You just don't want it. You got it, but you don't want it. That's okay. You can still do it if you don't want it. Last one. Pass the brick towards the pond. Legs down. Legs back up. Make contact at least. Yes. Release. Lower all the way down. It's over. It's over. I know. I know. These are foam bricks. These are foam bricks. Hey, I thought about bringing y'all cork blocks this morning. <laughs> I thought about it. Take in another full body stretch. Reach. Get big. Expand out. Downward facing dog. <laughs> Downward facing dog. Right leg high, strong and straight. Bend, stack, open. Half pigeon, right knee to right wrist. Let your shin drape across the front of your mat. And this morning, can you stack your toe bones of your right leg? Can you make your big toe be stacked right over your pinky toe rather than sickling them out? Oh, wait. Left. Right leg, yeah. So the, the front foot. Can you stack your toe bones? So flex your foot. Strong, strong, strong. That's the goal for this morning, to stack your toe bones. Active feet. It's okay. Breathe in for five and out for six. Let your forehead soften. Let your spine soften. Let your story soften. Being true to yourself can mean so many things. It can mean doing the things that you know that are good for you, even if you don't necessarily want to at the time. Because that whole I don't want to is fleeting. It's fleeting. The doing things that you know that you should that are good for you, like being authentic, like being honest, being open, coming to your mat, even when you don't want to. Because when you come to your mat, when you do things that you know you should, not should, that you know that are good for you, when you don't want to, there's an opportunity for a breakthrough there for getting to the bottom of the why of the I don't want to. We all have resistance. Breathe through your resistance here on the mat just like you breathe through your resistance when you're off the mat. Bring your fingertips back up onto your mat. Tuck your back toes. Three-legged dog with your right leg high. Say hello to your new hip. Downward facing dog. Left leg high, strong and straight. Bend, stack, open. Half pigeon, left knee to left wrist. And can you stack your toe bones? So big, big flexed foot in front. And however changes that, the half pigeon for you, no story, it's just a thing. Just flex, flex, flex foot. Long, steady breath. And take sleeping pigeon whenever you're ready. Soften in to the hip opener. Soften in to the check in.
for wringing everything out of this half pigeon that you can get out of it for you. your fingertips up onto the mat. Sweep your right leg long around in front. Come to lie all the way on your back. Take a final happy baby or a supine twist, whatever you need to get balance for yourself. Happy baby, flex both feet strong. Imagine you're going to put the flat soles of your feet on the sky and then pull back on the outside edges of your feet. Press your tailbone into the earth, the back of your head into the earth. Slowly release your happy baby. Find the corners of your mat with your heels. Get big, take up space. If you find a foot, make a friend. We're all friends here. We come here for a shared purpose, a shared goal. Even though we all have our own singular experiences on the mat. We are a community of breath and of movement and meditation. have reached the end there is nothing to do nothing to control nothing to change nothing that needs fixing let your breath return to normal Take in the biggest breath you've taken in all day. Lion's breath makes some noise. Again, breathe in and empty out. Slowly bend your knees. Roll over to one side or the other. Cradle your head in your arms and notice that the end 
is a beginning. We always have the opportunity to begin again. Each new breath is a beginning. Slowly press yourself up to a seated position in front of your mat with hands at heart center and eyes closed. We'll close with three ohms in a sea of ohms. So that means when you finish your first, begin your second on your breath. And we'll fill the room with the universal vibration of ohm. Breath in. Oh. knuckles to your forehead center and together we bow and say namaste namaste